I mean, I was that child banging on things in the house as a young child, mm-hmm. you know. And people would wake up and find their toothbrushes are in half. And I walked in and yeah. they were busy with your song. I had no idea it was even a recording. Birch, 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 birch. No, that's not true. Well, greetings, friends. My name is Omega Kuno and we are back on the Omega Pod. I'm so excited. Today, we're going to have an awesome time, a great chat you know, it's going to be something else. The men have been wanting to sit with like this and talk and hear from him. He's celebrated. He's one of those great, greatest, actually, musicians in South Africa, you know, as a drama. Minister Sam. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm well, sir. I'm, I I'm am well. so blessed, man. You know, yeah, yeah, I've been wanting an opportunity just to talk to you, you know, because forever we are busy, sound checks. <laughs> From there, straight into the show, we geek, and after that, we go home. But this moment for me, you know, to sit with you. I'm honored, sir. I'm honored. Yeah. It's, it's, it's such a joy and a pleasure to be able to sit oh. and chat to you. Yeah. Yeah. I celebrate what God is doing through your life. You Thank know? you, sir. Yeah. Thank and you. then I, 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 I admire it. You are a blessing. You know, sitting behind you, those drums, just... Your smile, your energy, but we're gonna talk about that. <laughs> how are you? And then how are you? How are you? How are you? <laughs> yeah. I'm doing well. Yeah. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Uh, yeah. It's a new year, uh, new aspirations. Sure. You know, uh, new challenges, and yeah, but we face everything head on, mm-hmm. and we just trust in God and believe for the best in everything. Yes. Um, you know, I I was just saying to. My wife earlier on, yes. you know, it's funny how we make plans yeah. and then we we ask God to bless those plans and we forget to consult him first. Mm-hmm. And so I just took some time this year to just pause and say, Lord, what is it that you have planned? Sure. And I think that's the right way to. Yeah. To do things. Yeah. You know? What is there that you have for Yeah. Me? So you? so this year I'm really just totally depending on him. On him, right. Yeah. Sure. You're one of the great you're one of the busiest actually musicians. And by the grace of God. Not really. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you know, to some people I may look like I'm busy, but um okay. uh I really choose pick and choose what I do. Mm-hmm. Um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because more than anything, I'm also looking at the heart with the people I work with or work for. Yeah. So I, I really pick and choose. But yeah, it does get busy. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going into other positions now, not just as a drama and, okay. but I produce as well. So it has been, yes. it's been, it's been really good. God has been opening some really amazing doors. Sure, sure. Mm. And your upbringing, uh, where you from and yeah. Yeah, um, <laughs> so I am born and bred in Johannesburg. Okay. Yeah. I've been thinking from Deben, you know. Not at all. So, Seriously? Yeah. It's just some Yeah. It's just a lot of things. Oh. Um, we come from uh, Ngalene. Okay. Originally. Okay. But I was born and bred in Johannesburg, Soweto. Tikluf, okay. specifically. Wow. I spent most of my childhood in Tipkloof, and then the better half of that, we moved to the Burbs. Okay, okay. <laughs> when okay. the South started, right. yeah, then my family moved. Uh, yeah, I'm raised by a single parent. Mm-hmm. Uh, my mom and her late twin sister, uh, and my grandparents. Oh. So, yeah, uh, I'm the first musical one in my family. Sure. Um, we've tried to trace in the bloodline who else. So, I'm the first generation of the musical ones in my family, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. hoping I can pass it on to the next generation. To the next generation. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And one, one of the things I've picked up about you, Sab, you love the Lord with all your heart, man. Uh, I do. I don't, I don't remember uh, meeting you and we don't have uh, just a bit of conversation about uh, what we do for God. Yeah, yeah. That heart of, of, of loving God. Oh, that arms. Um, yeah, I think when you've when you've lived your life so long and you realize that God is indeed the one who is at who is at the forefront All of right. everything. Right. Um 
you know, we as people, we go through life, we go through ups and downs. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. You know, but I, I count specific occasions in my life, you know, mm-hmm. uh, one event where I faced, I faced a, a, a fatal car accident. Sure. Uh, and, you know, oh. lost a friend, a colleague. Who, who, I remember who listened, that. Yeah, I remember in that 2014. Scene. But, you know, sitting here today, I mean, it's years later, about 10 years later, and I'm thinking, Lord, you spared my life. Yeah. And there's definitely a reason why. Yes. And that purpose must be fulfilled. And I can't walk in any other purpose other than the one that God has put for me. Mm. Because at the end of the day, he's the protector. Yeah. He's the giver of life. So, right. you know, I wake up each morning and I'm like, ah, oh, thank you, Lord. I got to go wake up again mm. and I get to do what you have blessed me to do to sure. to just you know um encourage your people hey yeah because even these gifts that we have yeah. they are not really for us right right yes they have yes. been given to us but they are not for our own sure. uh, pleasure or they are to glorify him and to bring his people closer to him sure and you know I I love every time you say you you are probably only one of two people who called me minister, minister, yes, minister. Yeah, okay, and, okay. And it, it's funny because that's exactly what we are doing. We are ministering yes, through yes, these gifts. Yes, you know? yes, um, yes. Yes, we are performing and giving a show and it's camera lights and action. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But when when the worship in the room is so tangible, when, mm. when the atmosphere mm. of the Holy Spirit is so tangible, I, I look at such moments and I'm like, this is why we do what we do. Yes. This is the reason why we do what we do. Sure. It's the main reason. It's actually. the main reason. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. And 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 yeah, uh, you've got siblings, right? No? Yes, I have siblings yeah? on yeah. my dad's side. Okay. Uh, okay. The arms. I All have right. uh three siblings, one passed on. No. Uh, last year, actually. Oh. So yeah, I have two siblings now yes. left uh younger okay. than me. So right. Yeah, it's a hey, you know, and I'm getting to know them. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's yes, yes, yeah, right. But we are here to come and hear about the minister who's <laughs> oh, you are you're a blessing, bro. And 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 musicians, especially young ones who are following you, you know, they love your gift, your talent. They talk about you, uh, and uh, later on we'll be talking about some of them coming to shows just to come and watch you, <laughs> paying tickets just to come and watch you. But before we get into that, yes, sir. how did it all start, you know, for you to be where you are? Right <laughs> yeah, now? yeah, funny story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, the drumming, the drumming gift, I call it a gift because yes. um, I'm a self-taught musician. Right. Uh, well, possibly there's no such as self-taught, but it's something I just saw and loved and I picked up. Yes. My story is a funny story. I, I I mean, I was that child banging on things in the house as a young child, mm-hmm. you know, and people would wake up and find their toothbrushes are in half. Okay. Because I okay. took toothbrushes and I was playing and yeah. broke them in hey, half. With they're way <laughs> deep in the carpet. But yeah, um, I built my first drum kit. I think I was five. Okay. With the help of a uh, cousin of mine, uh, I mean, I used to kick a box full of clothes uh, when we would have home sale. And I started playing, you know, I made my own kit out of tins, n- you know, Milo <laughs> tins. Bruh. And uh, there used to be that Nespre milk, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, powdered yes. milk. I used to, those big uh, tins, I used to make, you know, kits out of that. And, and mm. from there, yeah, I mean, one thing led to the next, the one time I laid my hands on a real drum kit i think i was seven seven right i was seven years old at uh so i come from a uh, grace bible church okay all right grace all right. bible church uh pinville soweto but i would visit a family of mine uncle who used to live in Kajiso at the time okay and okay. they were fellowshipping at grace bible church Kajiso. okay okay so the first time i laid my hands on a drum kit was when i would visit there and um, eventually they had instruments for the children's church there. And okay. Like, okay. you know, uh, we, if you can play an instrument, come through on a Saturday. And I was sure. like, ah, oh, definitely I'm going. Yeah. And yeah, I showed up on a Saturday and sat behind the drums and 
Yo. shocked everyone because it was kind of awkward seeing such hey, a short hey, person hey, hey, sitting hey. behind the kids and making sense right, of, right. of music, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, at age nine, what sure. happened was I walk into a conference at yes. Grace Bible Church now, yes. the main branch. Okay. This okay. was at Vista University. Right, uh, right, right. Now currently known as UJ. Right, so yes, campus. yes, yes, yes. There was a conference there. Yeah. We are late yes. on a Sunday morning with my mom. And as we walk in, I see the present worship is going, but there's no one on drums. Sure. And at the time, uh, there was Obabu Cornelius, who was the guitarist. Okay, okay. You know, he was playing uh, for a few a few bars. He would play yeah, yeah, the yeah. drums and then leave, go take his guitar. And I walked in and I thought, this is all wrong. Somehow, I made my way to the stage. Yeah. And somehow... I made my way to the stage before the ushers could rush and collect me. I was sitting on that kids. <laughs> and by the time they tried to, I started playing. Hey. Everyone turned around and, and was say, wow. shocked. Whose kid is this? But because I was playing the right thing for the oh, song. Oh, Jesus. And, you know. That's an uh, amazing testimony. It, yeah, it's, it's, it, that's what I'm saying. Mine is a really awkward story. Uh, there were musicians, my musical mentors at the time uh, who... Obabu Tula Zondi, he was the pianist at the time, and there's a gentleman, oh, Chris Mavangwa, he played bass. Yeah. And they were just shocked. Whose kid is this? What's going yeah. on? Yeah, yeah. Uh, played, I mean, I played the whole service, the end of the service, so Bishop Sono was like, hey, man, this child, yeah, we know this child. Okay. Uh, where are his parents? In? And then he prayed for me. And, but my mom was angry. Okay. Yeah, no, <laughs> she was angry. Yeah. How could you? How, How could, you could you just, you just go on the stage and yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but because of the order in the church, yeah. you know. Yeah. But from that day, you know, uh, Bishop spoke a blessing over my life, and from that day, it's been one thing leading to the next, oh and just God, God ordaining my steps, you know, to and I pursued music. Eventually, I went to the National School of the Arts. Was, sure. Yeah, my grandparents realized that this thing is. It's getting serious. Right, right. They thought, right. let's nurture this gift. And so I was taken to the National School of the Arts. Um, and then, yeah, Ew, eventually bro. people got to know this Savo. Yes, that's yes. on TV. I started out with a show, uh, I want, uh, no, Gospel Time. Gospel Time, right. Where I yes, was miming yes. there. Yeah, and yeah. A lot of people didn't know that <laughs> I could actually play. They okay. just saw this kid who used to just mime drums. This colored boy, by the way. Yeah, yeah. A lot yeah. of people thought. So you, you, they thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, up until I got my first real show, I played I played with Ulundi. And, mm -hmm. you know, Zamande came to the show and noticed me there, you know, and... Uh, some of the guys who were part of Lundi's band at the time, okay. they knew me from Grace Bible Church. And okay. I'm like, let's get this boy to come in. Start, you know. So it was just a number of people that God used to, to put yeah. me in the right places where I could be seen. And from there, it was the next thing. Then Joy Us, then, Yo. uh, you know, and now spirits. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know. yeah, yeah. But so, I'm, I'm interested in this one, Sabu. You know, if we can reverse a bit. Yeah. I believe it was God who 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 just brought his spirit and in inside of you, you know, to jump from that seat and say, I'm I'm going to that stage. Most definitely. And it, it should be God. Most because, definitely. Uh, he, he, he listen, he he ordains everything, you know, and his his plans are not to harm us. No. You know, uh, but to, to prosper, prosper yeah. us. Yeah. And that time he releases you to go on that platform. Your yeah. mom was thinking that, no. But how could I? <laughs> how, how could you, you know? And, but the plans of God was not to harm you, was yeah. not to bring pain no. to you for your, par for, for your parents to hold you and say, what, what is this that you're doing? Yeah. Or the church to yeah. hold, to, to send ushers to you and say, take that boy out of, out of the stage. But the plan of God yeah. saw something in you and you went to that stage and you, so uh, we, we can say you're, you being here now, it is because of the heart of saving. True. 
Yeah. Because what made you to go to that stage? It can only be the heart to say, I want to save. Yeah. yeah. You could have just sat down and say, well, it's church. Yeah. But yeah. that moment you allowed yourself and your spirit to connect to God's spirit. Yeah. And you jump on that stage and yeah. you begin to play. Yeah. And look at you right now. What can you say to 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 a musician, especially those at churches now who wants to see themselves like you to say Oof. what what yeah, you oh, know that's a very what a heart time. of saving can do. Yeah. Um you know, I always say I always say to people, yes, God has given me the gift of drumming or the musical gift maybe yeah let me put it but the other gift that god has placed on me is serving as sure. you say right so in any situation wherever yeah. i am even with work mm. when i see something wrong yeah i i i i i get bothered okay. by it all right okay even okay. when it has nothing really to do with me but because i am a part of the bigger picture of right. this whole thing happening wow. when i see something wow. not going right wow i'm naturally bothered sure and i want to fix that i want to find a way to solve that issue so mm. um the servant heart um you're right it is nurtured in the local church mm. mm-hmm. and i i implore musicians i think especially with the new generation now you know people start playing and you're playing for two, three years and they want a gig and that's all fair and well you know it's it's good to work and but i think there's hmm. there's a price to pay all right all right all right okay, okay. before you get there yes. you need to start here there's no shortcuts here yeah. and um sure for as long as you have served oh. you will reap the reward for that long as there's well there's no shortcut there's no shortcut Hey. There's no shortcut there, Omza. There's no shortcut. You can wake up today hey, and become brother. a F1 driver tomorrow. Yo. There's systems in place for everything. For everything. For everything in life. Even in this music game, you you can't you can't hmm. overnight. Hmm. There's there's just no way. You need to pay the price. Hmm. And sometimes the price is taxing. It's serving taxing. is not easy. Serving is not easy. Bro. Serving is not easy. Say that again. Yeah, yo, serving yo, is yo. not easy. This this is this is this is Jesus who washed uh, the disciples' feet. And yes. he said, "Lord, what are you doing? We should be washing yeah, your feet." Yeah, right, right, right. But because Jesus was teaching a principle that even in your greatest stage, as big as my name might be now, people look at me and like, "Oh, sir, sir." Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. they should never ever anyone wherever i am people should never feel like i am too big to approach so or too big to be asked of something yo because the servant heart should always exist no matter who you are in life or what stage you are in your life my god yo and now you're on big stages i mean you you started with joyas uh how many how many 12 12 yeah yes 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 <laughs> <sighs> but you see it's a heart of a servant uh the arms even yeah. you know there's issues everywhere there's issues everywhere in life in the workplace in school there's issues everywhere but when you have the heart of a servant sometimes you overlook the issues you overlook the church politics you mm, overlook mm. and you pour your heart out into what god has ordained you to do to do and right. not because you are doing it for the people around people who are applauding you right but you are doing it because you know that your reward yes. you will receive one day where hey. you meet the savior and he says well done good and faithful servant yo, 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 so yo, the applause yo. and everything here of the people they are great yes but you know uh, i was speaking to umtia and you know he said he said something to me and he said be careful that you don't steal his glory mm. after you've received all the applause mm-hmm. and people mm-hmm. come to you and say man well done. hey man you're amazing you are mm. you know because that's that's a natural reaction yes. Yes. for human beings right. when someone does good we go to them and we say hey you're amazing you are you know but find time afterwards and say lord take it yes it's yours right. people have given it to me 
but take it. It's sure. yours. Because you are the you're, fighter you're, 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 of my battles. Take it. I can feel it's becoming heavy. People ask me, how is it that you are not prideful? Mm, you have mm. a big head. And when Great people meet are, me, yeah. they say, yeah, hey amen, you are so, you're actually so meek. And, and I say, because I always want to remain a human being. Right. Um, the more you decrease, the Lord just lifts, he lifts you, up you up more and right. more and yes. more. And he surprises you over and over. Right. So take the glory and give it back to him. Yes. Because yes. it belongs to him. Yeah, yeah. He is the fighter of the battles. Sure, yeah. So in the history of you playing for Joyous, what are those songs? Best songs that you think when you were playing that Yo, I, 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 they should be made. <laughs> best <Yo>. songs. <laughs> can be three or two. You know? <laughs> yeah. And um, because, man, you can hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, well, we've, we've had some good times. I yeah. must say one of my favorite recordings was Just 15. Okay, okay. Yeah, the whole repertoire on Just 15 was really amazing. Um, funny enough, uh, people would think it's the up-tempo songs. Where, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yes, because those are nice to play. Right. But as I grow older, I'm realizing I'm... I'm more aligned with worship. I, I, I thrive there, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know, the Lord gives me gives me things to do mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I would never think of to practice, or but things just come to my mind. I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to do this now. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I enjoyed quite a number of songs, but I think sure. uh, if I were to name a few, yeah. uh, there was that song, "Give You All the Glory." Yeah, yeah, give yes, yes, yeah, yeah. I think I enjoyed, I enjoyed yeah, that. Um, yes. uh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, there's quite that's, a few. Yeah, there's I quite know. a few. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's right. I, I understand. There's quite a few. Just, yeah. But um, Joyous 12th. Yeah. Joyous 12th, actually. Um, come to think of it, I enjoyed playing the traditional stuff. Okay. The hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. More and hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, 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 Singing, uh, na, 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 na. yes, yeah, yes. What was that song? Uh, uh, what was that song she sang? That was just uh, 12. 12, right? Yes, right, okay. Uh, uh, oh, I'm forgetting. Is it not Nam no, Yes, Nam Tlangos. Yes, yes. Nam Tlangos. yes, yes. I enjoyed those. And one more, uh, Sis Boogie Wet mm -hmm, and she mm -hmm. sang, Ah, many, ah, many, ah, many. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I really enjoyed those type of songs because I think that was a new area a, a new era in traditional gospel right. and sure and changing the thinking we can actually play these songs proper mm. and they will make sense for the next 10 15 20 years mm. we can actually contemporary in terms of style okay play them contemporary but mm. still keep the meaning, the oh. true meaning of what they are, even to the older people. Okay. Where okay. my mom can listen to that song and she doesn't feel like, mm, but hey, there was too much going on in the okay. music. They okay. didn't, okay. you know. Okay. okay. So okay. I, I, I'm very watchful of that now where mm. um, making music is not just about showing musicianship. Okay. All right. But making music is about thinking about the end listener. Wow. How is the end listener going to receive this, wow. both musically and the message? Wow. So as wow. a musician now, I'm being very watchful now of wow. musician showmanship wow. in my playing, in my producing as well, because mm. I believe when I play, I'm producing my playing. Yes, yes, I always course. say to guys I work with, produce your playing. You make the producer's job right. way easier if you produce your playing. Because if you're thinking about the lyrics of the song, you're thinking about the message of the song, you're thinking about the style of the song, yeah. then you sit better sure. in the music and no one feels like, hey, but you are in the way of yeah, this right, song. Right, yeah, right. we are not getting the message of the song because mm, there's so much happening on the band side or on the drummer side or yes. whatever instrument you play or even a singer in the song. Yes. Mm, the singer did too much, you know. So yeah. I'm very watchful of, of yeah. those things now. I believe... Um, sure. I believe in making timeless yeah. music. That right, comes right, in right, timeless right. music. And and there's there's a quiz that I want us to play. Yeah. But before we go there, uh, uh, offline before we started, we yes. spoke about um, 
spoke about something interesting and I said I was going to ask you when yes, we are now uh, uh, talking about this. You spoke about that a song is made by a pattern or I want you to explain on that, elaborate on that. You spoke oh, about, oh, yes, yeah, yes, it is yes, not about yes. all about chops and all that, but a pattern like you. So true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. especially so when you're doing traditional songs. Yeah. Especially, yeah. especially because um, there is no one you can ask anyone. There mm -hmm. is no one who says, I love that song specifically because of a certain lick or okay. a chop that was played. Yes, someone might be attracted to a certain song because of that. Okay. But people are attracted to a song holistically. A song is the whole thing. Okay. A song is not one element of all, a song. All right. So when I say the important thing is the pattern, especially as a drummer, yeah. especially drummer and a bass player, we speak about groove. Okay. And, and I'm saying the pattern and the groove in the song need to be so defined that someone who was not even at that show, hmm. when they hear that song for the first time, okay. they will be singing that song because that song will be knocking in their head. They won't even know what's knocking, but because the pattern and the groove is so solid, okay. it's easy for them to sing the song anytime or the song, it's easy for the song to imprint itself right. in their brain or sure. because it's a repetitive thing. A repetitive thing is easy to, it's like in school, if yeah, a teacher yeah. keeps drilling something yeah. to the children, they catch it because it's a repetitive thing. So you can never repeat all these mm. nice things. They are spices oh. in the food, but they are not the main meal. Okay, okay. The main meal is the song. So if I'm to eat, the main meal needs to be presentable. I know I've got rice here, I've got chicken, I've got, okay, yes, you yes, know, yes, that's yes. the song. That's the song. But what I've seasoned the song with, that's not what's selling the song. It's All just right. seasoning. Sure. I've spiced it this way. But the meal itself is presentable as a whole meal. No one will ever say, hey, that, that meal was nice. The spice in the, in the, the spice there. No, the meal was nice. The food was nice. You know, the, the meat was happening. It was tenderized well. It was cooked well. It was not too well done. You know, the rice was just uh, cooked properly. You know, they, yeah, 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 they yeah, yeah. added this and this. The veggies were the whole meal. The whole meal, right. And when we present a song, we're presenting a song, not a part of a song. And the song from a drummer's perspective is the pattern. What are you saying in the song? Not what you are doing in the song. Okay, okay, okay. Because our okay. issue most of the time is we try and show what we can do in the song and this not what we can say. Oh, okay. And in a song, a song is a message. So what are you saying in this message that this song is trying to portray to the people? <sighs> You're something, yeah. <laughs> let's go to this, Chris. <laughs> let's, let's. Oh, my let's. brother, you're loaded. <laughs> okay. It's a question. Sure. You just gonna answer them, uh, testing you <laughs> as a drummer. <laughs> this is you and Fernando written all over it. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, drums have existed since. All right, three options there. <laughs> yeah. I think, I'll say 2200 BC. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Yo. <laughs> and I thought that of that. Be. Okay, so it was 5,500 years before Christ. Did, wow. Yo, that's, wow. That's a long time. That's long. That's long. Yeah. I, I, I call drums the heartbeat of God, so that would make sense. No. <laughs> I, I, I call them the heartbeats of God. Yeah, because sure, sure. That's yes, the we, one, yeah. you know, that's the one thing that gives yes. a pulse <laughs> in the music. <laughs> the longest recorded drum session, marathon. Was how long? It was 122 hours. 122 hours, okay. Yes. yes. That I'm definitely sure of. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Drumming bangs more. What? More calories. Cal yes, 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 yes. Than cycling, hiking, yeah? and weightlifting. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's true. Yes, <laughs> uh, and my watch always tells me uh, that, that yeah, yeah. I was I was I was banned by Discovery Vitality for a while because sure. they thought I was cheating. Oh, because I can switch on my watch while drumming, and it looks like I've been working out for a whole week, just yeah. a two-hour drumming session. 
looks like I've been working out for a whole week. Amen. With the type of drumming that I... Yo, yo. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Which Ramshell Wood has a warm and a resonated, resonated Birch. sound. Birch. Birch. <laughs> Birch. 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 Ah, no, that's not true. Okay, warm. <laughs> okay. But resonates, Birch resonates more than... Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> How no, you know much better. is the most expensive yeah. drum set? Yeah, right. Uh, it's about 500k US dollars. Okay. No. No. 2.1. 2.1. 2.1. Bring it out. 2.1. 2.1. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that kit yeah. belongs to. Yeah. Um, what's his name again? Uh, he played for Ringo Starr. Re okay. Yes. Ringo, yes. Okay. He wow. played for. Uh, I'll remember. Let's <laughs> yeah. Sure, sure, sure. What is the earliest drum? Oh, this is tough. <laughs> alligator <laughs> drum, bongo, snare. Yeah. Alligator drum? Alligator drum, okay. Let's see. Wow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, no, no. Four no. out of six. I'm yeah, not so bad. Yeah, no, not enough to. <laughs> not so bad. Not so bad. Yeah. And spirit of praise. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> You came. Let, actually, let's go back to the to the Riazas. You still remember what happened? I remember perfectly. <laughs> I mean, we were doing. Um, uh, I think it was my song. Yes. Mela Fela. Yes. And uh, uh, we were just starting the, the the the. Yeah. Then Joseph was still busy. Yes. Trying to get the intro. Yeah. So um, then, when, you, what happened was uh, I was in another, another rehearsal. Yeah. And Joseph said in the lunch break, "Hey." Man, could you bring your sticks? I just want to check something. Something, right, right. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm done eating. Cool. Let's. And I walked in and yeah. they were busy with your song. I had no idea it was even a recording. Sure. I thought you were preparing for a show. I had no idea at right. all. So, uh, as you can remember, I jammed. I think I jammed that song and your other song yeah, as well. Yes. And... We started doing a third song. I think it was Ducky's song. Ducky's song, yes. And then the guys came to come and call me from the other rehearsal. Right, right. We right. need you back in the rehearsal. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll always say everything happens for a reason. For a reason, And yes. God knows why. Yes. When and how. And how, uh, yes. Some situations may be sad. Yeah. You know, some situations work better for mm -hmm. other people in yeah. other people's favor and yes. not so much for other people. But right. everything happens for a reason. There is a reason. Yes. And maybe we find those reasons. Yes, to come. Oh, okay. So that was yes. the reason. Right. But yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, I got to do the Spirit of Praise recording and I had an awesome time. Oh, man. I oh, had man. an awesome time. I mean, we saw people paying tickets, especially musicians, the youngsters, <laughs> paying tickets just to come and watch you play. How do you feel about that, sir? I'm I'm blessed. That, that's a bl that's favor. I'm, you're right. It's sure. favor. It's favor. It's favor. And there's no other way actually yes. to put it. Um, yes. When God has decided to give you unsurpassed favor, Amen, sir. it's just that and nothing else. Nothing and else. nothing is going to stop you with what God has planned Amen. for your life and have what He has planned to do through you. Because sure. even with spirits, yeah. you know, it may it. It may be just youngsters loving what I'm doing there. Yeah, yeah. But I, I'm praying and hoping that I am winning more people into right, Christ right. with my ministry. Thank you. you know, even if it's just one sure. person who comes to a Spirit of Praise show and just watches Usabu and says, wow, this guy mm. is amazing. And I, I, I always say to people, when people say I'm amazing, mm. I want you to actually dig deeper and find out that the reason why I'm amazing mm -hmm. is because of this God that I serve, mm. that you can also find mm. if you just give yourself and say, you know what, Lord, I want, I, I admire this person. Yes. I want to know what is it that is in that them. Is, yes. The same thing God can put in you. Sure. With whatever gift you have, yeah. but God can use you just, just as much. And God can give you a name and give you influence right. just as much, even exceedingly in your own space, just because you've decided to sacrifice what mm. he has given you mm. and you've, you are giving it as a sacrifice back to him. Sure. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Minister Sabu, my brother, thank you for your time. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for sharing your heart. I'm 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 honored and blessed. Yeah, yeah and such thank you joy. for being a mentor, you know, to to our youngsters, thank you, to sir. this new generation coming. Thank you, sir. They they love you, they celebrate you. I'm I'm honored and so much more to yeah. come. I I yes. hope I hope I hope the ones who are following mm -hmm. uh yeah and listening to this podcast, yeah. you know that guys, the beginning and ending of everything yeah. is indeed your faith. Sure. And trust and believe wow. in this God that is the creator of everything. From me, Omega Kuno, I love your family and see you on the next episode. Love you all.